and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Bitter Old Retired Boxers. But this is the TV show where old ass fighters that just can't retire and sit their asses down. They gotta hate on the younger fighters of this generation. Okay, your three contestants today are Floyd Money Mayweather Jr., Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, and Errol the True Spence Jr. Stay tuned. Because you guys are going to see that who the bitter old fighters are that's hating on the younger generation. The main attraction satisfaction for your listening or your leisure. Try to call the coach and you will end up in the seizure. But ain't upon your brain, you just can't take the plain fact. That this is the LDBC, you don't tell us how to act. And if you hate the content, then take a step back. Why watch the video? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? How, how, how you gonna explain that? Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You're live on the show, sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, guys. Welcome to the first episode of Bitter Old Retired Boxers. And I'm your host, Coach Shelton Harrison. And our first Bitter Old Boxer, who just can't go away. We're gonna start with Michael Tyson. This guy's always hating on Floyd Mayweather. He's always hating on the, the, the heavyweights. He hates on Deontay Wilder quite often. But let's talk about his knockout against Buster Douglas. Yeah, he got knocked out against Buster Douglas. But his best knockout that came to him was by Robin Givens Tyson. That's right. She knocked him out and took the guy for everything he had. <laughs> well... Let's go to our next bitter old boxer who should retire and just shut the hell up. Okay, we've got Sugar Ray Leonard. That's right, Sugar Ray Leonard in the Conor McGregor fight. He was really all up Conor McGregor's behind, saying how well that Conor was piecing up Floyd Mayweather, but then he sounded a little bit depressed when Floyd knocked Conor McGregor the hell out. <laughs> Ray Leonard has been hating on Floyd for years. Ray is upset that he could not have the career that Floyd had, the money career. Ray was a good fighter in his own right, but he always hates on Floyd. I think Ray Leonard wishes that he could have cashed out too, just like Floyd did. The game did not beat up Floyd. Floyd beat the game, but Ray Leonard got beat by the game. <laughs> Our next contestant is Roy Jones Jr. Heck. I didn't know that he kisses his dog. I didn't know this. Let me tell you what I think. I mean, Roy, don't tell you. Well, let me tell you something, Roy. He's still actively fighting right now. That's right. Roy is getting knocked out all around the ring by fighters you've never even heard of. I've never heard of them. But Roy, come on, man. Hang up the gloves. You're sounding bitter and hateful. You're hating on the generation, Roy. Your time has passed. You've gotten your ass whooped so many times. <laughs> Let me tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think, Roy. I think you need to shut up and keep your mouth shut and shut the hell up for now on, okay, Roy? <laughs> Our next bitter old boxer. Oh, gosh. You guys are going to love this bitter old boxer. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Oh, James lights out Tony. Holy. Well, James, why do you hate on these young fighters so much? Why? Why do you still have a need to get inside of a ring? You got an octagon. You got beat down. You got it handed to you, James. What are you thinking, man? I don't know what he's saying. Do you know what he's saying? If I ask James the question, he's never going to understand what... You're never going to understand what he's saying. James, you're a hater. You know you're a hater, James Tony. I love you as a fighter. You did the shoulder roll like no other. But James lights out, Tony. I think your light's a little dim upstairs in the head. <laughs> James, you know, you're a bitter old fighter who needs to shut the hell up. <laughs> that's, that's the solution to all of this, James. Just shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> Our next bitter old retired fighter is... Ricky Hatton. Hey, boy, when he got knocked out by Floyd Mayweather in 07, man, did this guy get old fast. He put on weight, 
and he got old. Ricky is still hating on Floyd Mayweather to this day. He's still hating on young champions this day because Ricky Hatton don't know how to let it go. He got beat and beat and beat and he got hit with the left hand of Manny Pacquiao. But Ricky, you gotta let go. You gotta let it go. You got beat. You got beat by the better champions of your era. You fought the best, Ricky. But now, stop being a bitter old fighter and just shut your damn mouth when you talk about these new era fighters. Ricky, your time has passed, man. You had everything in the palm of your hand and you decided to drink and smoke it all away, Ricky. It's your own fault. It's your own fault, Ricky. Now you need to sit back and shut up and enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, I got a surprise for you guys. Oh, our next bitter old retired fighter is, you guessed it, Carl Frotch. Carl's been hating on Andre Ward for so many years. He's been hating on Andre Ward. He knows that Andre Ward would go and school the hell out of him. He knows this. But Carl Frotch will make videos and get on TV and all this other hot garbage. And he knows. He knows that Andre Ward was the better fighter. He knows deep down that he could never be in Andre Ward's league. <laughs> <laughs> hey Carl, how does it feel buddy? But Carl has a good announcing job, he talks plenty of junk, and hey Carl, you can go model for some more of those little ads, okay? Where you pose and you, you know, you, you flex all your muscles, Carl, hey, you got a good future in that. Because right now, you're sounding like a bitter old man. <laughs> but the grand finale, the grand finale, guys, you're going to love this one. And our grand finale of a bitter old retired fighter is Oscar De La Fish. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, where did that come from? I'm sorry. Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya. That's right. Oscar De La Hoya. You've been hating on Mayweather for years. You're trying. You won't. You won't even address those racist emails. Now, Oscar, I wonder what would possess you not to address those racist emails that was sent to you by Esquio Balderas. Why won't you address the emails, Oscar? <laughs> That's all we want. Address the emails, guy. Address the emails. But you're sitting around hating on Floyd, and then you're trying to promote, you're trying to get black fighters in your stable. Oscar, you're gonna have to address the emails. <laughs> and folks, thank you for joining Coach Sheldon Harrison on this episode of bitter old retired fighters who should sit the hell down. All right, thank you, God bless, and good night. <laughs>